Thermal haline circulation was introduced in the video you just watched. It is a large scale current that operates a bit like a conveyor belt, moving water and energy around the globe. The main driver of this conveyor belt are, is density differences in ocean waters caused by variations in salinity and temperature. The transfer of energy by the conveyor belt has profound impacts on climate. For example, Northern Europe is much warmer than locations of similar latitudes in Canada. As a result of energy transferred from the Gulf of Mexico to Europe by the conveyor belt. This slide shows how ocean temperature and salinity are related to our three cell model. In the panel in the middle, precipitation is P and evaporation is E. When precipitation is less than evaporation, salinity increases, and when precipitation is greater than evaporation, salinity decreases. When salinity increases, the density of water increases and sinks. Colder water is also denser than warm water, and colder, den colder water will also sink. Salinity is lowest at the equator. As water moves north, it cools and salinity increases with evaporation. Near the poles, ice formation, which expels salt, causes salinity to increase further and water becomes so dense it sinks. This is referred to deep water formation and is shown on the bottom right panel. To see an amazing visualization of the Earth's great conveyor belt, go to the link at the bottom of the slide. Watch the video on the next slide and answer questions about thermal haline circulation.